Friday. I don't think I've got the dual sounds. Who's not muted? <laughs> All right, let's call this to order at 7.01. Uh, if we can hit a roll call. Yeah, Adam McDowell. Here. And Valerie Renthaler. Here. Matt Castilia. Deb Cassini-Klein. Brooke Brichette Williams. Here. Diane Law. Here. And President Jay Doran. I am here. And the Mayor Paul Gamrat. Here. All righty. We can rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. Pledge of Allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Hurrah. All righty. Welcome to the continually cold, dark, rainy, disgusting spring and, and yet yeah, we're, we're in Pittsburgh it is what we signed up for so uh, we will begin this meeting as we do with all of our meetings uh, by listening to comments uh, from the public uh, so as we begin uh, let's kind of remind everybody if you uh, raise your hand if you want to comment uh, we'll be able to promote you at which time uh, you'll have three minutes if you state your name and uh, your address uh, to speak, and we will listen to any public comments that we have. Uh, I tend to give people a couple extra seconds to kind of set themselves up and kind of get used to it. Um, right now, I don't see any public comment, um, but I will give an extra kind of minute just to allow people the opportunity. I uh, see so one is in the queue. Uh, I believe that is, is that April then? It could be. She may uh, want to speak. I'm not sure. So April, I see your, your phone, I believe it's yeah, it's your phone number. Um, if you wanna unmute and speak, if you had a comment, uh, we did move your phone over just in case. Uh, the floor is yours. Hey Jay, April, I don't have any comment. I'm just trying to get on the Zoom meeting, which I'm having trouble too. I was able to log onto the phone, but I can't get onto Zoom. So um, so you get a reprieve tonight. I have nothing to say. Enjoy the evening. <laughs> Well, I, I never considered a reprieve as, as comments are important and you tend to bring some good comments to the table. So thank, thank you in either case. Uh, well, not seeing any additional comment then, uh, we will move out of public comment and move into our ordinary items for, for the evening. Mr. President, I move to accept the meeting minutes from Monday, March 7, 2022 Borough Council Workshop meeting and Monday, March 14th, 2022, regular council meeting. Thank you, is there a second? second? Thank you, any discussion on the minutes? Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? And the meetings are, the minutes are accepted. Moving on to the mayor's report, Mr. Mayor. Yeah, thank you, Mr. President. As reported to me, I wish to inform council that there were no unusual events or serious crimes during the month of March, 2022. Our officers responded to 1,065 calls for service, resulting in 25 arrests. Chief Ron Rackerley has reported the total amount of magisterial fines collected for the month of March 2022 was $928.78. <clears throat> the total for the year 2022 is $1,389.19. The department's four vehicles logged 5,600 miles in the past month. The fifth car, a 2013 Ford Taurus sedan with 92,359 miles is temporarily out of service. The ticket summary for the month of March, 2022 was 77. There were 22 non-traffic, 15 park parking, and 42 traffic tickets issued. Borough of Churchill will be holding its annual Easter Bunny Parade on Saturday, April 16th, 2022, beginning at 10 a.m. The parade will be escorted by a police officer as it travels through the borough and, the, and offers the opportunity <clears throat> for all residents to meet with the Easter Bunny, take a picture and receive a delicious treat. A schedule outlining the route, the route and the times for each street can be found on the borough website at www.churchillborough.com. We suggest that you listen for the police sirens as the projected times are only estimates. The chief also reminds us as the weather begins to break and the, and the warmer temperatures become the norm, 
Many of our sidewalks and residential streets become those to be busy with pedestrians walking, jogging, and enjoying the outdoors. With that comes a reminder to residents to please obey posted speed limits and roadway signage. Be aware of, of residents who are out. Never text and drive, and it's always a good idea to slow down when you see pedestrians. And another note I have is with a, please announce that, um, please do announce that both officers Justin Holt and Libby Sage have successfully completed their one year probationary period with the department. Congratulations to both officers. Thank you. Outstanding. Uh, this time I entertain a motion to accept the mayor's report. Mr. President, I move to accept the mayor's report for the month of March. Is there a second? Second. Thank you. Any discussion? Other than again, to congratulate the officers on, on reaching that milestone, which is important. And they've been good officers. Uh, again, we continue to have, I think, one of the finest police forces around. Uh, so I just kind of point that out. Uh, any other discussion? Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? And it is carried without opposition. Moving us to uh, the treasurer's report and bills. Mr. President, I move to accept the treasurer's report for the month ending March 31st, 2022, and directing the finance officer to pay the bills for the borough of Churchill accrued since March 14th, 2022. Thank you. Is there a second? Second. Thank you. Any discussion? Uh, as a matter of course, as you know by now, uh, anytime we do this, even though we are able to post it up now, I still read them. I feel like I'm a little bit behind in technology in that space, but it just is what it is. Uh, as a result, uh, we read any that total of higher than 15000 This month, we have five. Uh, two to pay core and payroll expenses, essentially uh, $29,563.66, and a second to $28,548.15. Uh, one to Gateway Engineers, and that's for February and March's 2022 services, on uh, the amount of $24,162.50, of which $4,385.25 uh, reimbursable. Uh, one to Vigliotti Landscape Construction, in the amount of $23,594.27. Uh, that is for March maintenance uh, and, and cleanup. Uh, and then the last in, is to All Lines Technology, which is uh, onboarding with our IT. Uh, as we're trying to kind of move our way forward for this. And that's the amount of $17,965.95. Uh, is there any other discussion on the bills or the treasurer's report? Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? And the report is accepted without opposition. Uh, this moves us on to number seven in the action items. Let's complete it. Uh, Mr. President, I move to approve resolution 4539 of the Borough of Churchill, Allegheny County, Pennsylvania, to join with other local government units as a settler of the Pennsylvania Local Government Investment Trust for the purpose of purchasing shares of the trust, thereby opening up an account for the operating reserve account with the Pennsylvania Local Government Investment Trust, also known as Pliggett. Thank you. Uh, is there a second? Second. Thank you. Any discussion? Uh, just to reiterate, we've discussed this the, going back a few months now towards the beginning of the year. Uh, this is a chance for us to open an account with Pliggett. And they have, uh, they work with different local municipalities in order to get investments so that they can sort of steer investments toward greater returns than we could in just a usual bank setting. So I think this is a good thing for the borough. Excellent. Any other discussion? Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. 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 I see, I, I see the mouth moving, Brooke, so I'm with you. Hi. <laughs> no, I got you, don't worry. Uh, any, any opposition? All right, and motion carries without opposition. Uh, this moves us on to number eight. Mr. President, I motion to award the 2022 Churchill Borough Paving Program to, I don't know if I'm going to say this right, Neil and Neil and Sons, Inc. for a total bid of... Uh, four hundred thousand, four hundred and twenty-seven thousand, one hundred and ninety-two point fifty, including the base bid, which is Marbury Road, Elm Hill Road, and odd uh, add alternate bid number one, which is twenty-four hundred block of Marbury. Thank you, and a wonderful reading of the motion. Is there a second? Second. Thank you. Any discussion? Uh, again, in the absence of our our infrastructure chair, uh, as we move forward with our paving program. 
uh, so that we're able to get our streets paved, this was the, the best option uh, yes. available. Uh, any other discussion? No. Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. 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 Any, any opposition? And it carries without opposition. I, I got you, but I, I see. I see the mouth move, so if I don't see it, I'll, I'll hold for you. I got you. Um, all right, that moves us on to a number nine. Mr. President, I move to direct the borough manager to permit Mog and Hot, the borough pension actuaries, to conduct a study of combining the police pensions of Wilkins Township and Churchill Borough. The cost split would be 66% Wilkins Township and 34% Churchill Borough. The two pension funds would absorb the study's cost, which is estimated to cost $2,200. Thank you. I appreciate you jumping on that since I didn't sign it. Uh, is, it. is there a second? Second. Thank you. Any discussion? Uh, yeah. Go ahead. I just I just want to mention that uh, this is kind of step one in our um, study to see if the Churchill and Wilkins Township or uh, police departments. Uh, really would make a good fit. So the first thing we need to do is crunch the numbers and uh, that's what this is. Excellent, thank you. Uh, any further discussion? Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? And it is accepted without opposition. Uh, that completes the regular items. It does bring us to a few discussion items. Uh, first, as a moment of kind of recognition, to uh, our newer council and our new council, new council people uh, for completing their, L their uh, time at the LGA. I know you got little uh, certificates, which is better than I could do, uh, <laughs> but, uh, but I do congratulate you all on your completion. Uh, I think it's a highly informative space and it really kind of sets you in a, in a good direction. Um, so we are excited for you. Uh, to, and of course, we're just excited to have you guys with us generally uh, as an ad. Uh, I don't know if there's anything else, anybody else wanted to comment on that? I see. Well, it's just, it, it's, it's over 50 hours of, of time. It's a tremendous commitment. I'm on top of these meetings, Saturdays, yeah. Wednesdays. I, don't, I might be missing other days that you have tied up since after the election and in, in December coming through January and February and March. So it's, it's quite remarkable. I'm not sure who had the biggest group out of any local government in Allegheny County, but I think four is well represented. Mm -hmm. yeah, I mean, it also speaks to kind of the, the freshness of our council now, yep. which, which is a good thing, <laughs> yes. which is a good thing. So very, very proud of all of you, if I can say that now. Uh, okay. Any other discussion on the matter? All righty. Uh, any discussion on any reports? You guys, obviously we have the two officers, but the mayor, I think, has a special honor through the Rotary service that he, that he provides or, or gives back to the community. And he's received an honor as being a fellow through mm -hmm. Rotary. I think, Jay, you might have the, the name of it yeah, there. I, I do. You kind of you kind of jumped in front of me. Is that That's my close out for this. So, <laughs> so, now, so now I have to kind of pull paperwork to make this happen. What's that? <laughs> we're close. We're, we're close. I was, I, was looking for, I was looking for some records in today. Uh, but, but nonetheless, um, but it is the, the Paul Harris Fellows uh, through the Rotary. Uh, in my, you know, to me, you know, anytime we have recognition inside of our community for something of, of that nature, it's something to take a moment and congratulate somebody on. Um, and this is one of those moments that we know how, how lucky we are to have our mayor that he is, uh, <laughs> I, I, I'll throw out some accolades. I'm not a big accolade guy. You know, you know how I feel about this stuff. Um, but it is. And, and so we are fortunate and we are congratulatory to you for your achievement. And uh, we look forward to even more great things here at the borough. Well, I, I certainly appreciate that. Yeah. It's, it's our pleasure. Um, as I kind of stick to, uh, to our moving, I, I'm, I'm, I'm going for it. You know that, right? Mm -hmm. uh, is there any other uh, discussion within, within, within the committee reports? It, this isn't a committee report. Uh, if you want to do this with so um, the rec board met the other day, I can. Sure. If you'd like to. Um, the rec board met on uh, last uh, Thursday. Uh, and I, I sat in on the meeting. I'm not part of the record. I, I sat on the meeting, in on the meeting as a guest. And they talked about a lot of different uh, activities, things to do to get the people back together in the community. Uh, obviously, having a community day is off the table right now because that's something that would take a year to prepare for. So, but we did what they did talk about was possibly contacting uh, Father over at St. John Fisher 
that we could maybe use the parking lot in the area around the church to have some type of uh, community get together around it where the small band comes in and plays, invite some food trucks, have some face painters. So that's, that's something we're gonna work on. Um, I contacted Father, I'm trying to set up a meeting with him so we can talk about the possibility of having that done. So that's, that's in the wings. And also one of the things that came out, the, uh, the rec board is always looking for someone you know, to come in and join and help organize these kind of events that um, you know, we're trying to pull together. You know, if everybody does one little thing and it doesn't make the task of doing it, it's not all that tremendous. And it's, it's a fun thing to do. You get to meet your neighbors and other uh, residents in the borough. So um, I just wanted to report that. The other thing too, while I'm at it, is the Easter Bunny will be out uh, this Saturday, beginning at 10 a.m. We'll leave the borough building. There, is, there will be, a, hopefully, a schedule of the times, like I had mentioned earlier on, the, on our website, or if we can get it through the Savvy Citizen out there, which we're hoping that the residents, <clears throat> excuse me, sign up for Savvy Citizens. So we'll not only be passing out treats, but we also have a little Savvy Citizen reminder that we'll be passing out as we move along through the borough. And that's it for me today, I think. So, Mayor, we do have it up. We shared the screen. Okay. It looks like you're starting here at the borough parking lot around 10 a.m. Yes. And yes. then working through Black Ridge and so forth. Um, but we'll have this online as well. And then finishing up. And, and again, the times are they're tentative. We want to stick to them as close as we can. Just listen for the sirens. Um, we'll have a police car following us. So you'll hear us coming. We, we love our bunny parade. Let me, let me say that right now. Is, uh, yes, okay. and, and our bunny. People look forward to it. Yeah, I'm not, you know, I'm not kidding. I, 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 I don't miss the bunny parade. My, my daughter would, would be. So. Yeah. No, thank you. So, thank you. Excellent. All right. Uh, let me just go around through uh, staff first and then any comments from council. Let me close this thing out. Uh, beginning uh, with our uh, fire chief and public works, Mr. Zatlin Ralph, any, anything on? the table for us. Thank you, Mr. President. The only thing I have to add is uh, you can start seeing the guys out once the weather breaks, start hot patching some of the roads, try and repair some of the uh, winter uh, destruction from the snow and ice and everything. Uh, the fire department's been busy again. Uh, so far this year, we're at 130 calls for this month. Right now, we're at 25 calls. We're only on the 11th day, so it's been pretty busy. So other than that, we're doing well. We, we appreciate all that you do. That, that goes without saying, but and yet needs to be said. Yeah. Uh, moving forward to our engineer. Thank you, Mr. President. Um, but we do have our O&M contracts underway with our sanitary sewer repairs uh, and including our specialty stormwater repairs. Uh, one other item regarding our consent order requirements. We have flow isolation. We have meters that were recently installed in the ground and flow isolation will be performed here in the month of April and May. And that'll be used in order to better understand where the additional INI is making its way into the system. And those projects will be prepared by, um, uh, by Mark. All right now. Thank you. I think we lost the, the who's, who it's being prepared by. I mean, you just kind of muted out for half a second. Oh, sorry. The flow isolation um, that we're, we're working with a micrometering tracking program called iTracker through Duke's root system. Excellent. Thank, thank you, sir. Uh, moving on to uh, our finance officer. Thank you, Mr. President. I have nothing additionally to report besides the uh, treasurer's report and bills to be paid that were reported. Thank you so much. Uh, Mr. Manager? Just in one week, we've added another 300 people to Savvy Citizens, so we're up to over 700. Pretty excited about that. Outstanding. I have, I have saved the best background for last. As, you, as many of you know, I regularly harass uh, our solicitor on, on his, his choice of football clubs. And this, this week has not been a good week for my Arsenal team, as he is uh, above me in the table by three points due to a bunch of injuries, I'll say. But anything to, to add? Uh, Mr. President, I think you said it all right there. I have nothing to add to you. <laughs> I, I, I can take it when it's my turn. That's all I'm going to say about that. <laughs> fair, fair enough. Uh, thank you. Going around through council, if any council had any, any comments that they would like to add today? 
what Adam, go ahead. Adam? Right. Uh, I just wanted to uh, briefly recognize the tree committee. Uh, they recently were in the process of preparing a letter of support for the Allegheny Land Trust application for the Department of Conservation and Natural Resources grant for the development of the Churchill Greenway. And also the land trust uh, worked to clear out a lot of invasive vines last month in preparation for planting 100 trees at the Greenway this month. So some good news there. Awesome. Yeah. Madam? Anything down? Okay. Yeah, I just wanted to mention that I was so happy that uh, I'm the representative to the Allegheny League of Municipalities. They had their spring uh, conference at Seven Springs and uh, Michelle uh, joined us there, which was great. And so did Alex and Deb Cassini Klein went as well. So we had four people there and uh, was worthwhile, I would say. So thanks to uh, Michelle, Alex, and Deb. Awesome. Uh, Brooke, anything? Nothing pertaining to what we discussed this evening, but I do want to share with the community that there is a Learn and Earn Summer Employment Program for youth between the ages of 14 and 21. Um, it's for students in the Allegheny County, Pittsburgh area. And it runs from June 20th through August 5th. So if you're you know, looking for, or someone in your household, a youth member is looking for employment, this would be a great opportunity for them to get work experience. Um, they will provide a bus pass, provide support for transportation if that's required. I'll pass the information on to our borough manager and we'll discuss how we can post it so that way residents can have access to the information if they're interested. Awesome. Thank you, Brooke. Val, anything on the table for you? Alrighty, uh, that leaves between uh, going home is me, I believe. So last okay. thing on the table, a uh, few things very quickly. First of all, um, my, my wonderful street of Garrick, just give us our, our regular shout out. We had our annual Easter egg hunt that we have on our block. And as we were having it, uh, one of our newer neighbors, and we have, a, we have a whole new crop of children. As you know, we, we keep a very, yes, yes. a lot of little, little kids. We always do. I thought, I thought when I was here, we had a lot of little kids. Um, but one of the new neighbors, her friend was with her and she whispered to, and I heard her, she said, this is everything I ever dreamed of. And I, you know, so I'm just, I'm very proud of kind of our neighborhood and I continue to be proud of our, our neighborhoods in Churchill. Um, and I know we have those kind of things happening in other neighborhoods. Um, and so I think getting the word out of the good things that we do is, is great. Um, the only other thing I have to say is uh, looking forward to the bunny parade. Uh, my daughter would kill me if we weren't outside. So we will listen to it. Uh, that being said, I would entertain a motion to adjourn. Moved. Is there, is there a second? Second. All right. Game, set, match. Thank you, everybody, for coming out. Have a wonderful, wonderful week or month. So I'll see you next month. Good night, everybody.